So I'm gonna ask a question. Do we have hope? What's our hope? Proverbs 13 to 12. What's our hope? Do we have it? Tell me. Tell, tell me who's who's going to who's defending us right now? Who? Who is defending us right now? Who's defending us? Which individual or individuals are standing up defending us right now? That's hope, right? So, do we have that hope, sir? Who is it? Us. That's killing each other? No. So, so what you mean, us? What do you mean by us? Okay, but but that's fine though. I'm not trying to put you on the spot. I'm trying to embarrass you. I'm just bringing reality to our situation. That's our situation. When I say our, I mean mine and yours, bro. Sus, do we have hope? What's our hope? That's a blessing, but what's our hope? For, hope to wake up. Hope to wake up. So, do you hope to be able to make it home from the store? Hey, brother. I'll see you Saturday. All right. You got a flyer, right? On that flyer, on the back of that flyer, right, you have our contact information on the back. It's on the bottom right. It's highlighted. That's where our school, our sanctuary. We have sisters just like you. We have children. We're a family-oriented organization. We want to see you this Saturday, this Sabbath. Come to the school. Learn more about who we are. Learn more about who you are. You know, ask questions. You know, that's what we're here for. We're not here to do anything else but to teach our people the truth about who we are. The school setting, the classroom setting, that's the place to get all that, that understanding. That's the place where you can write down your questions. That's the place where you can come to, come to people of understanding, meaning knowing the Bible and say, I have these issues going on in my life. Get those things answered. Read that. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 13 and verse 12. Hope deferred. Hope deferred, meaning you think you got hope, but you ain't, it's always taken away from you. For an example, do you have a family? You have a husband? You have a children? So you don't have any children? Stay with your mother and your father, right? Hope, hope deferred. Hope deferred means that hope that's taken away. Our people are living in the worst conditions across the street. You know what I'm saying? The worst conditions. It's not because they, didn't, they weren't trying to do something better. It's that every time they took a step forward, they went three steps back because something got in their way. That's deferred. That's like you reaching out for this microphone and I pull it back before you can grab it. Deferred. I mean, that hope is going somewhere else. The other nations getting our hope. The other nations is, is getting our, 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 our goods. They're getting our protection. For an example, for an example, did you hear about that shooting that happened in uh, Jacksonville, Florida recently? Okay, you heard about that. They're not even classifying that as a hate crime. No, they're not. That's hope deferred. Now, a Chinese man got hit in the head and the president got on TV and said, you know what, I'm gonna write a bill for, uh, uh, for the hate crime against Asians. So if, you, so if you fight an Asian person, that's a hate crime. And the FBI will investigate you and you'll get hard federal time. Now, how long have we been getting jacked up in this, in this country, sis? Hung on trees, dragged behind trucks. A long time. That's hope deferred. They're getting our hope. It's getting deferred to somebody else. Read it again from the top. Hope deferred. Make it the heart sick. It makes our mind ill, sick. Meaning we make wrong choices from that. We give up. We only, we say our hope is in getting out of bed and just going to work and coming home. You know what I'm saying? But it's more to our lives than that. We are the greatest people on the planet. I want you to give me uh, Deuteronomy 7 and 6, right? That's who we are, right? I'm going to show you our hope. I'm going to show you our hope. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. Yeah, I was just telling this sister right here that our hope has been given to other nations. Now, I'm going to ask her the same question I asked you about Jacksonville, North Carolina, because some of our people still don't know. Did you hear about that shooting that happened in Jacksonville, North Carolina? Jacksonville, uh, Jacksonville, Florida. So that was a test to see if you got, see if you, see, that was a test, see if you was lying to me. See that? See that? I got you. So how many people got shot and killed? Three. Do you know that that's not considered a hate crime? There's no law saying that, you know what, if you do something to a black people, you're going to get federal time. A hate crime. 
But it, but if you do something to the Asian man or Asian woman, federal crime. They got a they got a, a, a bill saying that if you hurt an Asian person, that's considered a hate crime. But God says, don't worry about that. They're going to make these laws, but to God, we're still the greatest people on the planet, and that's why they do it. Right. They write bills to protect other people and not us because they know that somebody else greater than them really feels differently about us and has our back for real. Let's show them. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. You. God says, thou. You are holy people unto the Lord thy God, meaning your God. Not everybody. Not the Chinese, not the Koreans, but you. It says thy God is possessive. Read it again. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee. Have chosen who? Have chosen thee. No, everybody. Have chosen thee uh -huh. Read. to be a special people unto him above all people. So God says he chose us to be a special people unto himself above all people. Right? Our hope has been so deferred and made our minds so sick that when we read from the Bible that God says that he is the God of you and none else, our people say, ah, I can't listen to that because, you know, God can't just love me because I ain't worth a damn. He got to love everybody. I can't just be only God's. I'm going to test this theory. Read that again from the top. For thou art in the holy people unto the Lord thy God. He says, Thou, meaning you are holy people unto the Lord thy God, meaning your God. Read. The Lord thy God. The Lord your God. You notice it don't say the Lord of, of every ma mankind, every human on the planet. It says the Lord thy God, your God. Have chosen thee. Have chosen you. To be a special people unto himself. That's how much he cares about you. He chose you to be a special people, not... Not the other nations. He says, no, you and your people. You and your people. Above all people. God said he put us above all people. That are upon the face of the earth. And that's the whole reason why they write bills to oppress us. Think about it. We're we already beaten down and trotted. Why are they still trying to do more? They ain't doing that to the Chinese people, to the Korean people, to the East Indians, to the Arabs, the Japanese, the white people. Why are they still doing it to us? If we ain't messing with nobody, why are they still stomping on our neck? Because they know this truth that I just read you. And they envious and they covetous of who you are and who, how God feels about us. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. 